Hello my friends and welcome to Storytime Shorts. I'm Miss Maggie and today we will be reading stories about being thankful. Let's see what kind of stories we will be reading this week. Our first story this week is Thank You For Me by Marion Dane Bauer. Thank you for me. I have two hands to fold. I have two hands to hold. To clap, to flap, to tap. All right, you got two hands? Let's see your two hands. Two hands? Can you clap with them? Very good. I have two feet that dart, that dash, that sprint, that splash. You have two feet? Where's your two feet? Can you find them? I have two eyes to see my mama's face, to see my bear, to see that paintbrush over there. The one that says, come try me, there's a picture inside me. Look, you see all the art that he's done? I have two ears. Where's your ears? Good. I have two ears to hear the rush of wind, the gush of rain, the thunders boom a room, boom a room. To hear my daddy's hush, hush. I have one nose. Where's your nose? I have one nose. It pokes right out. It's not a beak. It's not a snout. My nose smells rain. My puppy's fur. Do you see the puppy dog? There he is. Woof, woof. I smell Grandpa's bread on his or his roses instead. Lots of smells. I have one mouth. Where's your mouth? There it is. With tongue and teeth. Where's your tongue? Can you stick your tongue out like this kid's doing? See? Mm. <laughs> I have a nose above and a chin beneath. I sing. I talk, I smile, I eat. Apple crisps and sweets, peanut butter and drumsticks, long, long licks of 
chocolate ice cream. Wow, look at all that food they have. Doesn't that look yummy? Mm-mm. I have this skin. It's nice and tight. See how it fits exactly right? Look, you see he's touching. You have your skin. You touch your skin on your arm, on your hand. You have skin all over. I have one body to stretch. Can you stretch out your arms real high? To curl. Can you curl up real tight in a ball? And to bounce, to twirl. Can you bounce up and down? Very good. I have two hands to pray. I have one head to listen. I have one mouth to say thank you. Thank you for hands and feet that keep a beat. For ears that hear and eyes that see. Thank you for each bendy knee. Are those kids making music? Yeah, they look like they're having fun. Thank you for my mouth that eats meat and vegetables and treats. For fingers and toes and for my nose. Thank you for the way every bit of me grows. You see, he's growing. You stand up real tall. Thank you for the skin I came in and for my body so fine. It's all mine. Thank you for me. The End. Thank You For Me by Marion Duane Bauer. Our second story today is Bear Says Thanks by Karma Wilson. Bear Says Thanks. All alone in his cave, Bear listens to the wind. Whoosh, whoosh. He is bored, bored, bored. And he misses all his friends. Look at poor Bear. I could make a big dinner, a feast I could share. But he looks through his cupboards, and the cupboards are bare. He's got nothing in there. You see the spider web in his cupboard? Everything's all gone. Uh-oh. Just then, 
Mouse stops by with a huckleberry pie. And the bear says, thanks. Can you say thanks? Ready? Thanks. Can you see the little pie that Mouse brought? What a good friend. Bear says, goodness me, a delectable pie. But I have made nothing, he adds with a sigh. <sighs> then they hear, hidey ho, as they both see hair with a big batch of muffins at the door of the lair. You see hair? Look, he's got muffins. Mm -mm. Hair hurries in from the cold rushing wind and the bear says, thanks. Of course, says Hare. Then he points to the door. Here comes Badger. He's got even more. Look, what's Badger have? What are those? Are those fish? Ooh. Brrr, says Badger as he trumps inside. He sets down his pole and he smiles real wide. I'm back from a stroll at the old fishing hole. Let's see, he's got all those fish. And the bear says, thanks. Then Gopher and Mole turn up from the ground. We have warm honey nuts. Let's pass them around. Let's see, they brought some honey nuts with them. Well, we're getting lots of food now. There's a flap and a flitter and a flurry in the den when in flutters owl, raven, and wren. Look at all the birds. We have pears from the tree and herbs to brew tea. Wow. And the bear says, wait. What are we waiting for? Bear mutters and he stutters and he wears a big frown. Bear sighs and he moans and he plops himself down. You have brought yummy treats. You are so nice to share. But me, I have nothing. My cupboards are bare. Let's see, he's still got nothing in the cupboards. Oh, poor bear. Mouse squeaks, don't fret. There's enough, dear bear. You don't need any food. You have stories to share. His friends hug him tight. It will be all right. 
And the bear says, thanks. Aww. They lay out their feast on a quilt on the ground. And the bear takes a seat while his friends gather round. In a cave in the woods, in a warm, bright lair, the friends feel grateful for their good friend, Bear. They pass around platters, they tweet and they chatter. And they all say thanks. Look at them all, all the friends. The end. Bear says thanks. Well, thank you for coming to Storytime Shorts today. I'm Miss Maggie, and I hope you have a great Thanksgiving and a wonderful day wherever you are. Goodbye.